Hello students, this is Ritvik Dubey, your computer teacher. In this video, we will discuss about how we can create calculator program. Okay, let us start. Double click on BlueJ icon and create a new class by giving any name as it will be changed after compilation. Okay, select all by pressing the control A button and backspace. Yes. Let me start writing. First of all, I will write the basic. Okay. And then I will modify it to the higher version. P U B L I C public class C A L C U L A T O R public class calculator. Okay. P U B L I C public S T A T I C static void main capital S T R I in the string array space A R G S A R G S control shift I for indentation then let me take two variables int num one is equal to suppose 10 okay int num two is equal to for example five okay then int sum is equal to num1 plus num2 okay int diwf diwf means difference is equal to num1 variable minus num2 variable int uh, sum difference then product na p r o p r o okay p r only is equal to num1 into num2 okay and um, what we say quotient q u o q u o t okay is equal to num1 divided by num Okay, int remainder, rem means remainder is equal to num1 modulus. Modulus operator gives us the remainder is modulus num2. Okay, let me write system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln the sum of concatenation sign num1 concatenation sign and concatenation sign num2 concatenation sign is concatenation sign sum okay sum let me copy this control c copy paste difference product quotient remainder okay the difference d i f f e r e and -E, the difference of num1 and num2 is equal then the product p r o d u c t the product of num1 and num2 is ah yes difference is D I double F na? D I double F. The product of num one and num two is P R O. Okay. The sum of then after product quotient Q U O T I E N T. The quotient of num one and num two is Q U O T. Okay. Q U O T. Because I have selected the same variable now, Q U O T. Okay. Then the remainder. The remainder after D I V I S I N. After division of the remainder after division of num1 and num2 is REM. Is REM. 
ओके क्लोज द मेन मेथड क्लोज द ब्लॉक ऑफ द क्लास सो दिस इज आवर प्रोग्राम ओके दिस इज आवर प्रोग्राम नाउ व्हाट इज देयर इन द प्रोग्राम द नेम ऑफ द क्लास इज कैलकुलेटर पब्लिक स्टैटिक वर्ड में स्ट्रिंग देयर आरजीएस आई हैव डिक्लेयर्ड टू वेरिएबल्स num1 and num2 with values 10 and 5 okay then i have added the values of num1 and num2 and stored in the variable sum i have subtracted the value of num2 from the value of num1 and stored the difference in variable diff then i have multiplied the values of num1 variable and num2 variable and the product is stored in variable pro then the value of num1 is getting divided by the value of num2 and the quotient is stored in the variable quot okay then num1 is getting divided by num2 and the remainder okay modulus operator gives us the remainder and the remainder we are storing in variable red and then we are displaying appropriate message the sum of num1 and num2 is sum the difference of num1 and num2 is diff the product of num1 and num2 is pro the quotient of num1 and num2 is quot the remainder after division of num1 and num2 is rem okay let me check whether there is any syntactical mistake no syntax error okay so compilation is successful compilation is successful close this right click let me call main method okay you can see the sum of 10 and 5 is 15 10 plus 5 is equal to 15 the difference of 10 and 5 is 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 the product of 10 and 5 10 5s are 50 the quotient of 10 and 5 is 2 5 2s are 10 yes quotient of 10 and 5 is 2 the remainder after division of 10 and 5 is 0 okay now what if i have to make any change in order to do that the same procedure i will have to make this method parameterized int num1 comma int num2 c a l c u l a t e the name of the class is calculator and the name of the method is calculate okay now if i have declare two parameters at the methods head part within the parenthesis i need not write these two lines i need not write these two lines clear now who will give the values of num1 and num2 the person who will call the calculate method he or she will have to pass the values for num1 and num2 okay so here num1 and num2 are the two parameters of type int of calculate method okay so calculate method is a static method i mean it can be called by class name okay it can be called by class name you can see let me show you let me show you. if i make it a static and close it upon right clicking i get this option void calculate why because this is static okay now let me make it non static let me make it non static and compile close right click when i right click i am not able to find that option calculate method okay so i will have to click on the very first option to create a object okay and upon that object only if i right click i will get the calculate method so this is the difference if the method is a static we can directly call by the class name i mean if we right click we will get that method but if the method is non static non static matlab static keyword ka istemal nahi kiya gaya hai तो उस सिचुएशन में हम लोग राइट क्लिक करेंगे तो वो मेथड हमें यहाँ पे दिखेगा ही नहीं क्या करना पड़ेगा ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएट करना पड़ेगा ठीक है पहले ऑप्शन में जाकर के ये जो लाल कलर का डब्बा आ रहा है नीचे वी हैव टू राइट क्लिक ओवर इट एंड देन वी विल फाइंड द कैलकुलेट मेथड इफ आई विल क्लिक ओवर दिस कैलकुलेट मेथड यू कैन सी आई एम कॉलिंग विच मेथड कैलकुलेट मेथड ओके एंड सिंस कैलकुलेट मेथड इज अ पैरामीटराइज मेथड हैविंग टू पैरामीटर नम वन एंड नम टू आई विल हैव टू पास द वैल्यूज फॉर नम वन एंड नम टू तो मान लो कि मैं वैल्यू पास कर रहा हूं 50 और दूसरे में पास कर दे रहा हूं 7 ओके एंड क्लिक ऑन ओके बटन यू कैन सी द सम ऑफ 50 एंड 7 50 प्लस 7 इज 57 50 माइनस 7 इज 43 50 इनटू 7 3 5 सेवन इज 35 350 50 डिवाइडेड बाय 7 7 सेवन इज 49 ओके 7 
After division, seven sevens are forty nine. Fifty minus forty nine, one. The remainder is one. Yes or no? So the program is working correctly. Clear? Okay. What if I give uh, five? And if I give here fifty. Okay. Now you can see the sum of five and fifty. Five plus fifty, fifty-five. The difference is minus forty-five because five minus fifty is minus forty-five. Five minus fifty is minus forty-five. Then the product is five into five, twenty-five to fifty. The quotient is fifty. The if five is getting divided by fifty, the uh, quotient is zero. Fifty zeros are zero. Okay, fifty zeros are zero. The remainder is five. Okay, clear. Now, what if I will create a main method? P U B L I C public static void main capital S T R I N G string array space A R G S. Okay. And if I have to call calculate method, C A L C U L A T E calculate method, okay. And if I pass suppose fifteen comma five, okay, fifteen comma five. So here I will get syntax error. Okay, after compiling I will get syntax error. Why? Because you are calling the calculate method. From within main method, which is a static method, and this here calculate method is a non-static method. So static method के body के अंदर से non-static method को call नहीं किया जा सकता है. We cannot call a non-static method from within the body of a static method. Okay, let me compile. You can see non-static method calculate. Within bracket int int. Why within bracket int int is coming? Because it is parameterized method. So non-static method calculate int int cannot be referenced from a static context. What is the meaning of cannot be referenced? Cannot be called. Cannot be invoked from a static context. What is the meaning of a static context? Means from within the body of static main method. Okay, from within the body of a static main method, non-static calculate method cannot be called. so what we can do we have two options either you can make this method static and the error will be removed or the other option is if you are making it non static then you will have to create the object manually then how to create the object see calculate method is the uh, calculate method is the method of which class calculator and how do we create object in java class name c a l c u L A T O R calculator, then C O B J. For example, so you can give any name. Okay, you can give X Y Z any name. Any name. I am giving C O B J. So calculator C O B J is equal to new C A L C U L A T O R new calculator parenthesis and then semicolon. Now I can call the calculate method by this object whose name is C O B J, and then let me click dot. now we will get no syntax error clear so if you have to call a non static method from within the body of static method theek hai agar aapko kisi non static method ko static method ke body ke andar se body matlab ye dekho ye body hai main method ka theek hai curly bracket close starting aur closing ke andar mein jo hai na hissa is isko kya kaha jata hai main method ka body to main method jo ki static hai इसके बॉडी के अंदर से नॉन स्टैटिक मेथड को डायरेक्टली कॉल नहीं किया जा सकता है ठीक है हम लोगों को क्या करना पड़ेगा उस क्लास का ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएट करना पड़ेगा जिस क्लास का वो मेथड मेंबर है तो कैलकुलेट मेथड कौन से क्लास का मेंबर है कैलकुलेटर क्लास का सो हाउ टू क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट इन जावा क्लास नेम स्पेस ऑब्जेक्ट नेम इज इक्वल टू न्यू क्लास नेम पैरथिस एंड देन विद दैट ऑब्जेक्ट यू कैन कॉल द कैलकुलेट मेथड Since calculate method is a parameterized method, we will have to pass two values. That is the reason why fifth value fifteen and five is passed. Okay. Now let me compile it. No syntax error. And let me call main method. 
we are calling main method and main method is calling the calculate method again so the sum of 15 and 5 is 20 yes or no 15 plus 5 20 15 minus 5 10 15 fives are 75 15 divided by 5 3 15 divided by 5 what is the remainder zero okay now if i call the main method again i'm getting the same output let me call the main method again i'm getting the same output so will it be a standard practice if I make any kind of change here? Instead, I have another option that I can ask the user to enter the values within the output screen only. Yes or no? For that, we will have to create the object of buffered reader. We will have to create the object of buffered reader. Now, let me create it here. B U F F E R E D buffered r e a d e r buffered reader b r is equal to new b u f f e r e d r e a d e r buffered reader then new parent new i n p u t s t r e a m r e a d e r new input stream reader just remember this line okay and then system dot in system dot in clear now how to get uh, how to take the input i will have to call read line method i will have to call l is capital huh? read line l is capital read line method but read line method is a non static method yes before calling the read line method i will have to display a message or not so system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln enter enter two values enter two values okay enter two values now the since read line method is a non static method of buffered reader class i will call it by br object okay so br dot read line okay but that number will come in a string format so i need which method p a r s e parse int method i need parse int method okay but parse int method is a predefined method and a static method of which class integer wrapper class hai na ye jo parse int method hai ye predefined method hai hum to define nahi kiye pehle se inbuilt hai java mein lekin ye kaun sa class ka method hai integer wrapper class ka method hai static ki non static static hai isi wajah se class name se call karna padta hai isko to i n t e g e r integer dot parse int br dot read line you can see read line method is non static what is the proof because we are calling it by object but parse int method is a static method what is the proof because you are calling it by class name clear now we can store it in which variable let me take n1 and the data type is int n1 okay int let me copy this int n2 okay let me pass n1 and n2 but if i compile now i will get error why because buffered reader object is available in which package io package java.io package for that i need to write on the top of the program what I M P O R T import Java dot I O dot star. Okay. And you are calling the read line method from within the body of which method? Main method. Hai na? Main method ke block ke under ke sakto ya body ke under me ham lo kisko call kar read line method. To main method ke head part me ham lo ko compulsorily likhna padega T H R O W S throws I O exception throws io exception abhi compile karenge to koi error nahi aana chahiye okay no syntax error close right click main method okay ab yahan pe aap dekho output nahi dikha raha hai wait kar raha hai hamare values ka to maan lo main deta hu 45 and 9 you can see the sum of 45 and 9 is 45 plus 9 45 plus 10 55 54 yes the difference 45 minus 9 it is 36 product is 405 the quotient is 9 5 is 45 correct and remainder is 0 correct
Is this clear? Now, if I call the main method again, it will ask me the values again. So for example, 12 and um, 5. So the sum of 12 and 5 is 17. 12 minus 5 is 7. 12 into 5, 60. 12 divided by 5. 5 twos are 10, yes or no? Quotient is 2 and remainder is also 2. Clear? So this program is working fine. So you can see this is the calculator program where I have defined two methods. One method is calculate method, which is uh, receiving two values. Okay, because I have declared two parameters here. Okay, and all sort of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, remainder finding, all these operations are performed and then the results are displayed within the calculate method only and from within the main method. Okay, what we are doing? We are creating the object of calculator class Y so that we can call the calculate method. But we are creating the object of buffer reader Y so that we can call read line method. Okay, why do we need to call read line method so that we can uh, take the input from the user and that value will come and that value will be converted to integer and then will be stored in n1 variable. Okay, in a similar way, the uh, value will be stored in n2 variable and then the values are passed. Okay, while calling the calculate method. So the value of n1 will be received by num1 parameter and the value of num2 will be received by the num2 parameter. Clear? Clear now. So this is how we can define the calculator class. Okay. Please practice this program yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video.